DJXS.com. We are still at Rock and Arrange. We are busting butt to get you the best interviews. We're here with one of the best new bands here, Burn Halo. James from Burn Halo. How are you? Thanks, man. man. Yeah, I appreciate absolutely. it. Absolutely. Thanks for talking to us today. And just like I was saying, one of the hardest working bands out there. You guys, when I see you guys a couple weeks ago in Buffalo, you guys not only play, you guys don't even have a merch person. I mean, you do, but you guys are out there actually doing your own merch, which I think is fantastic. Touching, pressing a flush. Yeah, you know, I think it's important uh, for a new band to get out there, shake hands with the fans, rub elbows, you know, do our own little meet and greet you know offer them our music directly from us you know and I think that you know it speaks volumes for you know the, the feedback that we've gotten you know it's just been so great so positive everybody loves it you know the fact that we're actually out there hawking our own CDs you know trying to get people involved in what's going on and, and spread the word of burn halo and you know it's been nothing but great feedback I don't mind the hard work you know and I think the bands that work really really hard you know it's gonna pay off in the end and I think that we'll be one of those bands Yeah, and like I was saying I mean you don't see too many new bands out there hawking their own product and, and it's great that you guys do that because once you get a fan you keep that fan and a lot of new bands don't understand it but you guys are out there doing that yeah you know I've been around the business for a while with 18 visions obviously and and, and now this so you know I, I'm doing things differently this time around you know I saw where we could have done things differently where we could have you know been more successful and honestly man this day and age you can't rely on the record label to do everything for you you've got to go out there and be hands-on and attack the markets and attack the fans yourself you know so by doing so you know you create and control in a sense your own destiny you know and I think that that's important well a couple weeks ago when I seen you guys um, you guys are just a fantastic band, very energetic live. Um, a lot of fans probably don't know who Burn Halo is, but can you explain who Burn Halo is? Yeah, we are, you know, all about, you know, bringing it on stage and off stage. Uh, we're a modern rock band. We've got a great, I think, classic vibe to our music. A lot of the guitar leads, a lot of people come up to me for the first time hearing us saying, you guys remind me of Shine Down meets Guns N' Roses meets Buck Cherry with a little Avenged Sevenfold sprinkled in there. Most of those bands are here actually today, man. You got Shine Down on right now. You have Buck Cherry going on next, and Avenged is going to be taking the stage shortly thereafter. So. Yeah, so looking forward to seeing all those bands. And you know, it's a great compliment, you know, that people, you know, throw us, you know, in with that great group of bands. Uh, it says that you know musically we're able to connect with these people and they get what we're doing you know it's not like oh you know who are these guys what are they trying to do up there you know it's you know it's an in-your-face rock show a lot of attitude a lot of energy and you know we do our best to get the songs to come across and to sell the songs and to make the crowd feel involved in the show you know you guys are constantly on tour like you're saying promoting the latest effort um, but where is the band originate where do they where's the band call home I call home right now in Orange County, California. Um, so I'm I'm down there. Um, haven't been there actually since we left for tour. So since I've seen you last, I haven't even been home, you know. And that's typical, you know, of a new band getting out there working on the road. Our two guitar players uh, call home in Sacramento, California. Our drummer Phoenix, Arizona. Our bass player Tulsa, Oklahoma. So we're a little spread out, but you know, when it's time to get ready and go, we meet up uh, wherever we need to meet up, get a rehearsal in, and get back out on the road. Um. Sinister Gates involved in uh, the, you know your debut CD and Anyo and Dirty Little Girl he helped on on how did you get Sinister involved? You know, I've been a long friend of mine for uh, a long time friend of mine for oh, oh, quite a while. You know, um, met Matt and Zach in high school. Had guitar class with Matt, and you know, just growing up doing the same shows, the same touring together with 18 Visions, you know, we were support bands together on, on uh, bigger tours and, you know, when they, you know, really blossomed into the band that they became, they were always helping me out, taking my band out on support tours and, you know, when 18 Visions broke up, I, I approached them and said, hey, you know, would you guys be interested in working with me on a song or two? Sinister was all about it, whipped up a song and Yeho got him into the studio when we were in LA cutting drums and bass. You know, he was totally down to, you know, do his guitar leads on that song, which we didn't even know, you know, we didn't even have anything mapped out. So everything that he did was on the fly, and it th came out awesome. Had a little bit left over time, said, hey, you know, would you be interested in playing on Dirty Little Girl? Uh, we got some space uh, set aside in the bridge section for you if you'd like it. It would, you know, fit along great with your guitar playing style. And he was all about it, man. Just 
a real good friend just wanting to help me out and you know it, it helped me get to where they are you know right now which you know hopefully I'm fortunate at some point to be able to reach their level but but if not somewhere close would be you know amazing as well because obviously they're a great band and, and, and a big band right now um, going back on dirty little girl we all want to know who that or what that song's about can you spill the beans on it yeah the song's about a girl that dated one of my best friends for a couple years you know um, basically about a year into their relationship he found out that you know everything was kind of built on lies that the girl was like underage yeah but it but from there he kept her around you know it was like okay you're way younger than I am and way underage compared to what you told me 12 months ago but I guess since you know I've already been there there's no point in stopping now so this girl just kind of had him by the balls man you know um, she would go out do her thing party it up hard hardcore uh, you know he's more laid-back kind of guy real passive she would go out, flirt with guys, end up hooking up with a couple of his friends, and for whatever reason, man, he kept her around. So the story is kind of about her and their relationship, and the fact that I think he was really into maybe the instability of what was going on, and I'm damn sure the sex was probably really good, you know. Uh, I won't even touch that one. 